It's time to read the psych book. Hmm. Event-related potentials. These are like things that can be measured, like thoughts that can be measured with brainwave detectors. Whoa. And fMRIs, which are like movies of the brain. This is pretty cool. Whoa. For example, a brain imaging study of humor demonstrated that most jokes crack us up mainly in the language processing areas of the cortex, while puns also tickle the brain's sound processing circuits. Goal and Dolan, 2001. What did that experiment look like? What, did they put people in fMRIs and tell them jokes? What jokes? I gotta know. Who are Goal and Dolan? They did the... Oh, I gotta go look this up. Go to the good old Google Scholar. Instead of searching the internet, it searches all academic journals. Articles from journals and books, including legal documents. So, let's look up Goal and Dolan, 2001. Type in exactly what was in that parentheses. What do we got? The Functions and Anatomy of Humor. Segregating Cognitive and Affective Components. There it is. What do we got? Oh my gosh, a whole paper. The Function and Anatomy of Humor by Vinod Gull and Raymond Dolan. They say, we scanned 14 normal subjects using event-related fMRI while they listened to jokes. 30 jokes were semantic of the form, oh here's one, what do engineers use for birth control? Their personalities. That's pretty funny. And 13 phonological jokes or puns like this. Why did the golfer wear two sets of pants? He got a hole in one. Okay, these were presented to subjects in a random order. In corresponding baseline conditions, that's the control group, identical setup lines were used, but the punch lines were modified to be just descriptive. Oh, so for example, what do engineers use for birth control? The pill. <laughs> Why did the golfer wear two sets of pants? It was a very cold day. So, okay, so the control group looks like they were told anti-jokes, while the experimental group was told jokes. All the while, they're in a thing called an fMRI, a functional magnetic resonance imaging uh, device that saw where changes where event-related potentials were happening in their mind. This is awesome. It also looks like they put these people in a scanner with a button to press. If they thought the joke was funny, they would press this button. And then when they brought them out, they rated each joke on a scale of 1 to 5. That's pretty cool. They found out that there's, like, event-related potentials, meaning brain activity happening that is measurable in some of these places like the left posterior inferior temporal jaw, I don't even know where that is, but apparently it's in the temporal lobe, the posterior temporal lobe, and the back of the temporal lobe is where that engineering joke fired the brain. That is so cool. Hmm. I thought the joke about the golfer was funnier when it was, why did the golfer wear two sets of pants because it was cold outside, the anti-joke, more than the other one that was a pun. I think puns are dumb. Why did the golfer wear two sets of pants because he had a hole in one? It sounds like it should be like, boom, tss. But that's not funny. I wonder if there's a different event-related potential in my brain because I like the anti-joke better. Someone should do a study on that. Maybe you should do a study on that. Regardless of all that, I gotta tell people about this Goal and Dolan 2001 study on brains, humor, and event-related potentials. I'm gonna add an explanation of it to Cyclopedia. Cyclopedia. Okay, let's go to Cognition. Down here. Cognition. Event-related potentials. Event-related potentials. Okay. All right, now let's edit it. Let's add a section called research. A goofy experiment was done 
All right, that's done. Now I need to cite it. So how do I do that? I go back and I go to the paper and I go back and it's very easy. I click cite on Google Scholar and I select the APA version and copy it and then I paste it right there and then I, I, I want to even do it better I want to select that and I want to link directly to this paper so I'll copy the URL and then I'll go to Cyclopedia I'll select this and I'll click link and I want to link it to a web address I'll paste that right in there I click add link the deed is done save now event related potentials has a cool little research section the people can read about this goofy experiment and then they can even if they want to go and check out the paper on their own